Right, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, hope you're having a good one. Uh, today we are tying a sinking snail pattern. Uh, gotta be honest, haven't fished this one myself, uh, but I was given a, a few specs of what somebody wanted and whipped these up. Um, from what I heard, they've done alright for themselves as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to fishing them uh, this summer myself though. Uh, sinking snail uh, is the uh, general idea for it. Uh, it didn't want a big bead, uh, so it's got a fair bit of weight uh, through lead wire uh, underneath the materials. Uh, we've got Antron yarn, we've got Semperfly Sparkle dubbing in brown, uh, which gives it just that little bit of glisten. It's a great material for it. Uh, then we've got some black wire as uh, a ribbing, which gives it that. If you think of a snail shell, it's got the sort of swirl, so I kind of thought I'd give it that sort of impression as well. Uh, and a little bit of Antron yarn hanging out the back here. Um, so if you think of the sparkle dubbing being more as a shell, and you've got the little snail guy or his foot hanging out over the top, but bottom, um, and then the little snail dude sitting out. That is more of a um, loose representation than a uh, accurate representation. Um, but it took the boxes for the guy who wanted them, um, but I'll give you a run through and show you how I tied them. And I hope it helps. Cheers. We'll get into it. Right. Our hook today is a Kamasan B110. Uh, it's a grub hook with that sort of curve in it. Um, I really like the shape of it for this fly. Uh, thread, Semperfly Nano Silk in 30 denier in brown. Um, but to start off, I have put some lead in here. I didn't film it just because you're just going to get my hands in front of the camera and you're not going to really be able to see anything anyway. Um, but generally, I give it that sort of I don't know what you call oval uh, sort of body uh, shape to it which is going to help build up that shape of the shell and the body of the snail itself but it also gives it the weight uh, it's just to sink it down a bit um, so we'll get our thread on there and just start it off like you would any other fly and just slowly uh, get it wrapped over that uh, lead which is uh, going to help secure it uh, you can put glue uh, of course underneath uh, the wire if you want to help or through it as you tie it on um, now this fly uh, the guy who asked me to tie it from he was using it down in the uh, canals and waterways down around Twizel um, for me though I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a great pattern uh, particularly for still waters uh, I've got a few dams and lakes uh, around the Wellington region I'm quite looking forward to seeing how it goes just tied off underneath a uh, a dry fly and just slowly fished and drifted along the edges of the uh, weed beds. But once you've got your uh, thread on there, you're just going to do a few layers just to get it all, all nice and secure. And it's going to slip in between the uh, gaps between the wire, but that's okay. As we build it up, we're going to get it more and more secure. And then just get rid of your tag end. Right, next up is our Antron yarn. Again, this just forms the, um, the head of the snail sticking out, as well as uh, the foot of the snail along the bottom of the shell. Kind of weird because it's on top of the hook, but if you think of a, you know, a snail that's come loose from its uh, perch uh, floating through the water, it kind of doesn't matter. Right, but we're just going to tie this in. I've probably got a bit too long a strip there, I'm just going to cut that in half. Um, but I'll usually cut off a few inches and uh, makes for a couple of flies. But I'll just get this secured in here. Right, and then we're just going to tie it uh, over the top. Again, we're just trying to build a bit of bulk uh, through the body of this fly. Um, so I kind of usually. Uh, I try to keep things a bit slim, but for this one, uh, we want to build that up. So just get it secured over top. It's going to start looking quite tapered, uh, which is what you want as well. And then fold it back on itself and bring it back down. So once all uh, the dubbing's gone on, uh, we're then going to fold this back over the top. Right. Once there, don't get them mixed up. I grab that uh, little tail bit, or head bit that's sticking out and we're just going to uh, trim that off so it's about half the length of the fly. Alright, onto the ribbing. 
Right, ribbing. Uh, just using 0.1 mil black wire from uh, Semperfly. Uh, again, like um, you know, all the patterns I've tied on here, unless you know it's saying overly traditional or specific. Uh, have a look around at what's in your waterway. So adjust colours as uh, as you need to. You know, like snails can be you know olives and grey colours and you know, a whole range of stuff. Um, you know, you might want to make it a bit more sparkly or bit more dull um, but have a play um, you know fiddle around with it and get it to work for you um, but we'll just get that tied in uh, on the side there and move on to the dubbing right for the dubbing we're using that uh, Semperfly uh, sparkle dubbing uh, it's quite fine uh, really long fibers I I love it uh, I think it's one of my favorite at least up there it's one of my favorite uh, materials from Semperfly it's got a really sort of subtle shine to it it's um, just really cool and we're just going to make a, a dubbing noodle uh, out of that and as I've said on you know, many other videos just take your time you don't have to try to put all the dubbing you need on there in a, a one go um, because it is long fibers you do sometimes have to work it a bit <coughs> to get it on there and once you do though uh, just get that dubbing noodle and just start going up the body um, because we've uh, built that body up you don't need to um, really build up the dubbing. Now just be careful, try not to uh, have the uh, lead wire underneath poking out. I mean the fish aren't going to mind if it does at the end of the day but um, yeah just slowly build it up. You only need a little bit of that dubbing, it goes a long way like I said it's got really long fibres. Um, you know, I'm counting it but you know six seven strands will actually dub a good uh, inch of thread. But just keep on, uh, keep on winding it on. Um, I think as well, let's just caught my uh, wire there. Get that out of the way. Um, I think as well, like while it's uh, designed as a snail, uh, so to say, you know, I'm fairly confident if you um, fish it as a nymph, it'll probably be taken for a few things as well, uh, especially if you tie it down uh, into a smaller thing or a smaller hook. Um, I can see it passing as you know, kind of cased caddis as well, or uh, something like that. Hopefully, anyway. Now, like I said, I haven't actually fished this one yet, but you know, the guy did tie them for us. He had a few takes on it, so I'm feeling uh, pretty confident, or positive about its potential. Uh, but we'll just keep wrapping this on. Uh, it's a bit of a prolonged process sometimes. Um, I'm just going to keep building it up, keep going around. Like I said, this builds up that sort of shape of a uh, aquatic snail, uh, the shell itself. Uh, if you have a look at photos of them, rather than the uh, you know, that really rounded uh, shape you get of like garden snails, they're almost um, more cone shaped. It's probably the only way I can think of uh, to explain it. So just so we build up, you'll see it goes up and comes back down into a point. And then that ribbing uh, is going to give those uh, sort of swirls you see on the shells. Hopefully we're almost there. Just trying to check in the camera. I haven't left too many bald spots with the uh, underbody showing through, but I think we're okay. Again, don't beat yourself up too much if you do. A couple more. And the reason, I've said it before, but the reason I just do it bit by bit is if you have, you know, four or five inches of materials hanging out the back of your fly uh, on your thread, you just don't quite have as much control uh, of your thread. Uh, so just doing it a little bit of time, you know, and, you know, a little dubbing noodle only a couple centimetres long, it just gives you that more control. It just allows you to tie a better fly, I think. Here we go. Oh, we'll move on to uh, the snail's foot, I guess you'd call it. Alrighty. You just want to take that bit of antron that you folded back and you're just going to roll it over the top. You just want it to kind of spread out a little bit. 
Uh, I won't do it here, but one of the other ones I was doing, uh, I was putting a bit of UV resin over the top as well, which looked really cool. Um, I just want to get that secured in. Just get it nice and tight, and that's the joy of that nano silk is that you can really cinch down on stuff and not worry about the uh, thread breaking. And just get rid of your your tag end. Like I said I usually do a couple inches of this, so this will be good for a, another fly. And then you take your um, ribbon, and we're just going to bring it back up the body, which is just going to hold it all down in place on top, as well as give it that. Uh, sort of shape, I think they get the different rings as they grow longer or the swirls rather so hopefully it gives it that uh, that impression through the body and just slowly go forward until you get to the top and you're just going to secure it in Usually, this uh, 0 0.1 mil wire you can just snap off. Last but not least, uh, whip finish and you're all done. It's a very simple fly, um, but hopefully one that's going to be uh, quite effective. Alrighty, there we have it. A sinking snail pattern. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I like it. Uh, again, it's got that uh, brown sparkle dubbing uh, from Semperfly. Really cool material. Uh, Antron yarn, uh, nano silk uh, for the tying thread. Uh, 0 0.1 mil black uh, wire for the ribbing. Again, that one's from Semperfly, and a Kamasan B110 hook. I uh, hope uh, it's a handy one for you. Again, it's uh, designed as a snail, but uh, looking at it at the uh, camera screen at the moment, it's, uh, it's going to be a handy little nymph pattern as well. I think. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed, hope it's a handy pattern and happy tying, enjoy.